WordPress or Wix? Which one is best for you? Find out in this video. First, we're going to talk about WordPress. Now, what is WordPress? WordPress has WordPress.com and WordPress.org. We'll be mainly talking about WordPress.org. Now, WordPress is an open source content management system or CMS in short. You can simply download it and install it on your local host or live server and just get started with it. All you have to do is go to WordPress.org, click on Get WordPress and download the current WordPress version and you can install it on your local host or if you want, you can also install it on your live server and get started with WordPress. If you get any managed WordPress hosting, WordPress will be already installed there. Now, after you install WordPress and log into your backend admin dashboard, this is what you are going to see. Now, if you guys want help in installing WordPress on your local host or installing WordPress on your live server, we have tutorials for both. We will provide the link of those tutorials in the video description so you guys can learn more. Now, in the backend here, you can create pages, you can publish blog posts, or if you're using an e-commerce site, you can create products, publish products, basically manage your entire website. Although this is the back end, you can also look at the front end of your website. Now, since WordPress is free, you can work with it easily, but you have to get your own domain and hosting. Now let's talk about Wix. Now Wix is a SaaS CMS. That means it's completely hosted. All you have to do is create an account and you will get access to Wix. Using Wix, you can create and manage your website very easily. So we're going to log into our Wix account to show you how this looks like. Once you log into your Wix account, you are going to see a section like this. Here we can select one of our sites and start editing our site. We can also create a new folder or create a new site. We can explore Wix, we can hire a professional to help us build our site, and we can get help if we want from here. Once we select a site, we are going to see this Wix dashboard. Now this does seem familiar with WordPress, but it's actually completely different. Here we can also see there's an option to connect our website to a custom domain. So you can already understand that Wix will take care of your domain and hosting. From here, you can manage your websites. You can set up your websites. You can get access to other options such as getting paid, all payments, online programs, you can get access to blogs, site and mobile app, look at analytics of your website and other information. Now let's talk about site customization. Now in WordPress, you customize your website through plugins and themes. So first, let's talk about themes. When you start to build your WordPress website, you have to get a theme. To get a theme, we can simply go to appearance and click on themes just from the WordPress admin dashboard. And from here, we will find thousands and thousands of themes. We can see there are over 7,000 themes available for WordPress that you can use. And now these are also free. Now, some of these actually has paid version. For example, we are using the free version of Bloxy, which gives us a lot of features to customize our website. But if we get the pro version, we get even more features. So you get the point. So from here, you can get any themes. You can also click on the preview to learn more about a theme and you can just get started with a theme that easily. You can also install multiple themes. So if we go to our themes, so you can actually use only one theme at a time. So you have to activate it and then you have to start customization with it. Now we are using the theme Bloxy, as we mentioned. This also gives us a lot of starter sites. Now these starter sites, you can just import with one click and you will get the entire website. For example, we are currently using a starter site and we haven't actually made any customization. This is how our site looks like currently. So this is an e-commerce site. So if you guys want to create an e-commerce site, this will be an amazing choice for you. So that goes for themes. Now, if you want to customize your theme, what you have to do is click on this customize over here, or you can go to your backend dashboard. You can hover your mouse over appearance and click on customize. Now, depending on what kind of theme you're using, you might have some variations, but basically this is the most common way to customize your website in WordPress. The theme will give you a lot of options. Again, this depends on what kind of theme you're using. In Bloxy, we get the general options such as general, header, footer, sidebar, colors, typography, performance, and much more. So if we want to customize our header, we can simply go to the header section and we will get a header builder. Bloxy gives us this beautiful header builder where we can drag and drop the elements from this section to any of these rows. And then we can customize these rows just by clicking on them. Now, if you guys want to learn how to create header and footer using Bloxy or any other themes that gives you header and footer builder such as this type, then you can check out one of our tutorials where we showed you how you can do that. We'll put the link of that tutorial in the video description. You can also customize your pages. So to customize pages, we can simply go to pages 
and then we can click on edit on any pages that we want to customize. So this is our home page. If we want to customize this, we can click on edit and this will open up our page editor. Here we can edit each and every aspect of our website. Now to edit a page, we do need a page builder. There are a lot of page builder plugins. Currently, we're using the default page builder for WordPress, which is Gutenberg. So to work with Gutenberg, what we simply do is, for example, I want to add a little text over here. So what we do is expand this by clicking on this plus button and we can see there are lots of elements over here. For example, if you want to add a heading, we can simply grab this heading and drop it over here. And then we can add in our text and then we can customize this text by changing the alignment. So we're going to align it by center. We can also change its color if we want. And just by highlighting this, we can click over here and then we can uh, change its color. See, it's so easy to do. Again, we will get a lot of customization from this sidebar. We can select the HTML heading tag, text, color, shadow, outline, and a lot more. So in this way, you can design your entire website with blocks. So this gives you a lot of customization options. Now, depending on which page builder you're using, this entire system might change. Not all page builders are drag and drop, but those do help you build your websites. Now that was WordPress themes and how you can customize your website using WordPress themes. Now, in order to add different features to your WordPress website, what you do is use something called plugins. Now plugins are software that you install on your WordPress website that adds different features and functionalities to your website. To add a plugin, what we can do is hover a mouse over plugins. This is right in the WordPress admin dashboard and we are going to click on add new plugin. Now this will give us access to the plugins section. Now this is directly from the WordPress plugin directory. You can also go to this website and download plugins and then upload those plugins from your computer. We can switch to the type that we want. So if we select the popular, we will see all the popular plugins that's available for WordPress. So the popular plugins are Elementor, which is a very popular page builder for WordPress. You can see it has over 10 million active installations. We have Contact Form 7, which helps us create forms and Yoast SEO, which is very popular SEO plugin for WordPress. You can see that how easy the customization is. You need a page builder, you can install it from here. You need a form builder, you can install it from here. If you want better SEO for your website, you can install an SEO plugin from here. Everything is available. Once you simply install and activate the plugin, it's available on your site. For example, we wanted the e-commerce features for our website. That's why we installed WooCommerce. Now you can see this is already active on our site. Using this plugin, if we read over here, it says everything you need to launch an online store in days and keep it growing for years. From your first sale to millions in revenue, Woo is with you. So WooCommerce is an amazing plugin, which is by automatic. Using this plugin, you can publish your product, you can bring in the entire e-commerce functionalities to your website. So this is an amazing plugin. So let's talk about site customization on Wix. On Wix, you also get themes and you can also use apps. Instead of plugins, you use apps in Wix. So first, let's take a look at the site customization. To customize our site, we can log into our Wix dashboard and from here we can click on edit site and it's going to open up the site editor. Now this is the site customizer of Wix. From here we can either add elements. So if we click on this plus button, you can see we have a lot of elements. We have text, images, button, strip, decorative, box, gallery, so many elements. We can just simply add these elements over here and we can start editing. For example, if we want to add an image, we can get free images from Wix. For example, this is an image. What we can simply do is add it over here, drag it and drop it anywhere in our section. We can resize it and we can design the image as we want. This gives us a lot of customization options and you can also further customize this image from here. We can change the design, we can crop it, we can add filters to it and so much more. So it's that much easy to build a website in Wix. You just add element and position it on your web page and just customize it. Now to start working with your website, we also need themes. So we have many, many themes from Wix that we can start with. And you can see there are 72 pages worth of themes. You can go through all of these. You can view and edit these and start working with it. Also, you can start with blank template if you want. We can also switch pages by clicking over here. We can visit 
various pages. We can also check mobile responsiveness by switching on this device so we can see how our website is looking on mobile devices. Now to add different features to our website, we use apps. In WordPress, we used plugins, but in Wix, we use apps. Wix has an app marketplace over here. We can get various applications for our website. So we can see some of the recommended apps, which is urgency, countdown timer, social media icons, map and store locator. And this is another application for website analytics and behavior. So some of these have free plans available. Others are actually premium. So you have to pay for these. You can also look at the categories. So if you're looking for marketing or selling online, we can choose this. So they will show us all the e-commerce applications. So here are some of the e-commerce applications, Amazon with Wix, purchase orders, listing SMS, and so on. So there are applications for almost everything that you need for stores, shipping delivery, sell buttons, online courses, print on demand, accounting, coupons and loyalty, warehousing and solutions. So all of these are available. You simply install it and get started with your website. So this is also an advantage for those who wants to get a website up and running and start selling their products online. You just simply use a Wix e-commerce theme and you can get started with your website. Now, since we're in the topic of e-commerce, I think this is a very important topic that we should talk about. So e-commerce site is a website where your customers will be able to purchase your products and you can post your products from here. For WordPress, there are various e-commerce plugins and WooCommerce is one of the most popular ones. There are other plugins that you install on top of WooCommerce to add more e-commerce functionalities. So for example, if you want to turn your website into a multi-vendor website with advanced multi-vendor plugins, you can turn your website into a multi-vendor or wholesale site. So as soon as you install WooCommerce, it's going to give you a setup wizard. So if you go through these processes, it will help you set up your site. For example, it's asking us what kind of uh, site you want to start. I'm just starting my business. I'm already selling. I'm setting up a store for a client. So you can choose any of these options. You can click on continue. You can give your store a name. You can choose an industry. So these are all basically Q&A, which is going to help you start your site much more easier. But we already have our site and we have some products over here as well. We can add a new product just by clicking on this add new product button. And let's actually take a look at the product that's already published on our site. So here's our product. We can add a name to our product. We can add a product description. We can add a product image. Here we can add a regular price of the product a sale price. If we have one, we can schedule the price. We can also add other information such as inventory, shipping, linked products, attributes, advanced. We can also choose the product data. So what kind of product we want, either a simple product, group product, external or affiliate product, variable product. If our product is virtual or downloadable, we can select from here. We can add product categories and so much more options. So using WooCommerce, we can create an e-commerce website just like that. And since we're using Bloxy, we just imported a theme and we already have our products ready. So this is our product page. You can see all these are added. And if a customer wants to purchase this, they can simply click on this add to cart button and we can view the cart. We also have the checkout page added by WooCommerce. Now the e-commerce pages such as the cart page, checkout page, shop page, etc. were created by WooCommerce and the e-commerce functionalities were also added by WooCommerce. And the design that you are seeing is from the starter template that we imported. We can still fine tune the design and customize the design of the website to match our specification. So if you want to create an e-commerce website with WordPress, it's so easy. You just have to use the right themes and the right plugins and you'll have supreme control over your website. Now, if you guys want to learn how to create an e-commerce website with WordPress, or how you can create a multi-vendor website using WordPress. We have tutorials on that topic. You can find it in the video description. So let's talk about the e-commerce system in Wix while we're in the topic. So if you want to sell your products online, or if you want to turn your website into an e-commerce site, what you simply do is go to the app marketplace, go to stores, and from here you install Wix stores. Now this is the professional e-commerce platform to sell online. We simply click on it and we can read its description, what you'll be getting. You can sell products, digital downloads, gift cards and subscriptions, you'll get all these features added on your site and this is available for free. So we can click on add to site and we'll have to wait for the application to install. And it not only installed, but 
completely changed our website. You know, we also have some default products as well. So from here, you can add your first product. You can define your shipping regions. You can connect payment. This becomes so much easier to sell now. So using this Wix stores, you can actually start selling online. This becomes a lot easier for you. Now you can just simply upload your product. If we go to my business section from the Wix store, we can add a product just by clicking over here. And from here, we can see the products that are already added over here. What we can simply do is add a new product just by clicking over here. But we actually want to see how a created product looks like. So from here, we're going to edit this product. And this is our product. We can add our image. We can add more images of this product. We can add product information such as the product name, ribbon, descriptions. We can add additional info sections, product info, return and refund policy. And there are so much more options. We can add in prices. We can add in on sale, show price per unit. And there are so many options you can see. So that is how you can turn your entire Wix website into an e-commerce marketplace just like that. Now let's talk about the hosting and price of WordPress. Now WordPress is completely open source. You can use it on your website for free, but you do have to get your own domain and hosting. So if we go to the wordpress.org website, so here we can see a section that says see all recommended hosts. If we click on this button, we can take a look at some of the WordPress hosting suggested by wordpress.org. Now you can start for free at wordpress.com and when you want a more premium hosting, you can switch your plans. There are other popular hosting providers such as Pressable, Bluehost, Hostinger, and there are much more. So pick your favorite hosting and you can start with it. If we click on wordpress.com, here you can actually get started for free. So if we click on the plans, you can start with the personal plan, which is $4 a month, or you can get other plans, whichever suits your requirements. Now, if we talk about the hosting and pricing of Wix, Wix is completely a hosted SaaS CMS and it takes care of the domain and hosting for you. Wix has a free version and it also has paid versions. With the free version, you can create your site and customize your site. But when you want to get domain and hosting, you need to upgrade to a paid plan. So let's take a look at the pricing of Wix. We can see that there are four plans, the light, core, business and business elite. With each plan, you get more features, but if you're not sure, you can start for free. When you're ready, you can upgrade to another plan that you need. And for domain and hosting, Wix takes care of that for you. Now let's talk about the support and resources of WordPress. Now, over 40% of the websites all over the internet are powered by WordPress. Now, since this is an open source CMS, there are various resources from where you can get help. You can also learn how to use WordPress, test WordPress out on your browser, and you can also search for documentation. Now for plugins and themes, support is also available. Now it depends on the plugin or theme that you're using. Now, if you're interested in learning WordPress, there are various resources. Even in this channel, we create many helpful tutorials for WordPress. If you're interested in learning WordPress or learning more about WordPress themes and plugins, you can subscribe to our channel because we always post helpful videos on WordPress. Now, what about the support system of Wix? Now, Wix also has a lot of documentation and online resources from where you can get help. You can also hire a professional and they can build the site for you. And even when you log into your Wix account or Wix dashboard, you can see the help option over here. If you click on this drop down, there are a lot of ways through which you can get help. You can search by topic, you can look at the article, you can browse all topics, you can go to Wix Learn, Wix Blog, SEO Learning Hub, Velo, and you can also hire a professional over here. Now, Wix also has the AI options. If you want, you can take the help of AI to build your website. You can use the AI to create text for your pages. You can use the text creator, section generator, or even theme assistant. So that is a huge plus point. Now that's our video on WordPress versus Wix. Now, which platform is best for you? It's completely up to you. While WordPress is for those who are looking for more customization options, and it's a CMS that offers much control over the design and functionality of a website. Although WordPress is completely free to use, you do have to get your own domain and hosting. Now, Wix is for those who want to quickly create a professional level website with little technical efforts. Now, Wix is suited for small business, entrepreneurs, or even professionals who wants to create their own portfolio, business website, or even an e-commerce website. So which one do you prefer, WordPress or Wix? Let us know in the comment section. If you found this video helpful, give it a like and subscribe to our channel for more helpful videos. Thank you for watching. See you next time.